Hello again, Internet. Welcome back to HemingwayLand.com, your source for quality, affordable land in the state of New Mexico. This is our preview of all the properties debuting on the website for tomorrow, April 26th, 2019. Before I get to that, as always, I want to thank all the people who bought land from us this past week. Uh, this week we sold out of all of our remaining Socorro inventory, a 1, a 5, and a 10-acre property. We sold land to Ratsami, Susan, and Corrine. So I want to thank all of them for their business. Corrine, by the way, is a uh, return buyer. This is the second property she's purchased from us. So uh, extra thank you to Corrine and the family there. And new subscribers this past week. I can actually see some of you. So the Replicat and Janice S., thank you. Welcome to the channel. I uh, hope you find this informative. All right, guys, so new properties. We have one new property premiering this week. This is in San Juan County. This is reference number SJNM3561, 2.5 acres, priced affordably at $8,000. This is, um, as you can see from the headline here, great off-grid living on an island in New Mexico. Yes, New Mexico has an island. Um, let's go to the listing page here. I did a video for this. This will be up on the, on the listing page tonight, but the long and the short of it is I have been looking to get property on... Uh, within the specific region of New Mexico for some time, finally acquired this lot. This is, um, so it's not, it's not, it's not really an island, it's a peninsula, okay, but uh, point being up here in this region of New Mexico, you have in San Juan County, uh, the Pine River and the San Juan River kind of splits right here, and this piece of land uh, forms a peninsula. You can only access it by coming down from Colorado. I really like this area. It's really private and uh, really pretty, as you'll see from the photos. More to the point, however, zero zoning laws out there, like a lot of unincorporated San Juan County. No zoning law. So you're going to be able to do uh, whatever it is you please, uh, campsite, RV, living, uh, shipping container home, tiny home, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm going to discuss that more in the video that will be up on that listing page, but the point is the property is up here. You're going to have easy access to the marina. There's also a second marina up here. Uh, on the Colorado side. So if you've got a boat, you're going to have a lot of great things to do, or you can come down here and just rent a boat. Um, anyway, I really like this property. It's really well priced. The last two and a half acre lot we have for 8000 in this region, uh, it sold super fast, like in two weeks, which is pretty good for $8,000. Um, so I don't anticipate that this one will be round long. Um, as with all the properties we have now in this price range, we're just asking for an earnest money deposit of $500. You put that down, and then we'll contact you and figure out how you want to pay for the rest. It should be noted, gang, <clears throat> that uh, SJNM 1193B is back on the market. This one went into escrow and then it fell out of escrow. The uh, buyer changed their mind for various reasons unrelated to the property. So uh, this is now back here on the website. Uh, price of 9,500, this almost five acre property. That's a really good deal on land and that's one that we've had uh, surveyed, staked out out there. Uh, there's some issues with that property. Uh, they're all disclosed on the uh, on the video there on the listing page as well as within the text. So I encourage you to uh, give that a read. I had a number of people when we sold this uh, reach out to me saying that they had wished they'd been able to act sooner on it. So I guess this is now their opportunity. Anyway, I should just mention, uh, as noted earlier, we sold out, hello, we sold out of the last of the Socorro properties this past week. I am doing my best to get more Socorro properties up on the website. As I don't normally close on these through a title company, um, that means we stand a chance of actually having these listed in my lifetime. So uh, sometime in the next few weeks, I should have a couple more properties coming up in the Rio Grande Estates subdivision. I don't have any leads right now on anything in Rancho Rio Grande. Those five acre, five acre, 10 acre lots, uh, I don't have any of those coming soon, but a number of ones and twos in Rio Grande Estates, hopefully preparing in the next, uh, next couple weeks. So things to look forward to. Anyway, all right, that's all for me. Uh, thanks, everybody, and we will see you in the next video.